and welcome to Top Cell at 7. In this video, we're going to start a brand new project. The goal of this series of videos is to walk you through a complete manufacturing process using the Top Cell at 7 platform. Let's get started. To begin with, I'm going to go up to my home tab and I'm going to start a new project. Here, I'm going to give it my job number because that's the way my company likes to organize ourselves is by job number. So my job number in this case is going to be 5345-May18 for 2018. I'm going to use my standard project template and hit the green check mark to get started. Now, for those of you not familiar with the Top Solid 7 platform, we are a fully functional PDM platform out of the box. So what I just created there is a container that will hold all of the information that goes with this manufacturing process. Now, to begin with, I'm going to look at the right-hand side of my screen here and take a look at the organizational structure that comes with my standard project startup template. To begin with, you can see I have everything numbered, and I do that just because that's the way I like to work. I like to work and think in a specific way, so I have structured my folder system here to be that way. It begins with a part file or a part drawing or something. I may build some assemblies. I, if I'm machining stuff, I have to define what I'm machining. I'm going to do the machining, and I'm going to document everything. It's kind of the five main steps of the, of, the set, of the system here. Now, to begin with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import something, but I'm not going to import what you would expect to be imported into a CAD CAM software. I'm going to start by importing important information. So I'm going to go import file without conversion. And here I'll browse to a directory that has the PDF set by my customer. So I'll go ahead and click open to open that. And what you just saw me do was add the PDF of the part file that our customer wants us to manufacture for them. That's kind of cool. If I double click on it, it's going to open up Adobe Acrobat Reader because Windows knows that's the right software to read a PDF file with. So as you can see, we have to design up and manufacture this little bracket. And it's a high production job, but not too high that fixturing is going to get crazy, but we're still going to define our own custom fixture for this because, again, what would be the point of a presentation like this if I didn't take you through all the different possibilities that Top Solid has to offer? So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this document onto my other monitor so that I can start to draw this part together with you. So I'm going to pull that over to here, and now I'm going to come back to my part folder. I'm going to right mouse button click and create a part. Now, when I create the part, I want to create the part based on some specific templates. For example, I know that this is aluminum, so I'm going to choose my aluminum template here. And all this is doing for me is this is predefining the part with the material already defined. Now here you can see I have a block in this template. Maybe in this case I don't want to use that block, so I'll just delete it and that's okay. I'm going to name my part bracket because that's what the customer called it. Perfect. And now we're going to start sketching. Let me bring this sketch back really quick. To begin with, I want to start by making this simple 4x2 rectangle. Looks like it's a half inch thick. Cool. I'm going to put that off to the side again. And I'll go ahead and go to my rectangle command. I'm going to go by size and we're going to enter 4x2. I'm going to locate it right at my 0, 0. Next, I'm going to add the corner fillets, which are a quarter of an inch. And you know what? I want to get all of them at the same time because, well, I can. So there we go. There's our quarter inch fillets set on all four corners. And then from there, let's go ahead and extrude this up for half an inch. Very nice. Also going to hit Control S for save. Let's have a look at our next step. Maybe in the next step, we want to add another rectangle, this two inch by looks like one and a half inch rectangle, and it looks like it's a half inch off this front edge. Perfect. So I'm going to drag that back over. I'm going to select a sketch right there. I'm going to go back to that simple little rectangle command, and what did we say? We said two inches by one and a half inches. I'm going to drive it by the lower center point, hook it right to that axis, and I'm going to go add a simple dimension from here to here of a half inch. And I'm also going to go to the fillet command again, and I'm going to put that same quarter inch blend everywhere because that's what the part print is asking for. Now let's bring that part print back really quick because I went really fast. Yep, we got to go from this surface up to here for an inch and a half. Cool. Let's do that. So here what I'm going to do is right mouse button click, go to boss, and we're going to go ahead and add our boss for an inch and a half thick. Cool. 
Next, let's go ahead and add a sketch right on this face because now we want to trim out the sides here. So I'm going to just start by doing something like this, dragging it down like so. And there's lots of ways to do this. This is just but one of them. I'm not going to take this point and drag and drop it to be coincident on that edge. And I'm going to go ahead and come up here, select there to there. That should be a half inch. Whoops, I think I typed five inches. <laughs> that should be a half inch. Thankfully, thankfully, there is the undo command. I also noticed that there is a 31 thousandths corner radius that needs to be put in there. So let's go ahead and put that 31 thousandths corner radius in right there. And I'm going to use this profile to trim with. So we'll choose trim by profile. Arrow points to the side to delete like usual. Green check. And now we have the making of our bracket. And, you know, all I'm trying to point out here are some of the more simple steps that exist in the Top Solid platform. Modeling should be effortless. It should be easy. You should be able to reproduce whatever it is you need to reproduce quickly and accurately. Now, in looking at this, I have a few more steps to do. It looks like I have a little corner radius I have to put in there. I have a couple drillings here and here. And then I have a slot to put up here. Cool. So let's start with the fillet. I'm going to select this edge, right mouse button click, and choose fillet. And it remembered my last value, which happened to be a 30 seconds, so that's perfect. We'll go with that. From there, I'm going to right-click, create a sketch right here, and we're just going to go add two simple little points. And those two simple little points are symmetrically centered about the center of our part. So as you can see, I can make this symmetric on the fly without having to go through complex menu structures or anything. It was a simple right mouse button click. Like that, I can now apply a drilling group, and in my drilling group, I'm going to apply the same size drilling to each of the points in that sketch. The diameter is 53125, it's a through drilling, and I'm going to green check mark. And like that, that step is done. Last step, we need to create a sketch up here. We're going to go ahead and create a simple little line from there to there. And now we'll dimension this line. And let's go back and look at our print really fast because I think the guy who made this print is just mean. So it's 531.3, and then this edge is offset from this edge, some strange number, but that's okay. Let's see what happens if we ask Top Solid to do a little bit of math, because I want to find the center of this slot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of math right here in the driving dimension. So I'm going to say I want to take an open bracket, 0.53125 divided by 2, plus that 0.2344 value, 0.2344. Cool. And the result is a half an inch for those of you doing the math at home with us. It's kind of nice, though, that you can do math right in your driving dimension. And moreover, Top Solid remembers the math. So if I go back and double click on this, it's going to say, hey, this is the equation that you wrote. Kind of nice. Now, we also need to do one more quick thing. We need to put a dimension from here to here of a quarter of an inch. And that's on both sides. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're in our driving dimension command. Boom. Pull that up there quarter of an inch. I'm going to do the same thing here for a quarter of an inch. Lastly, I need to make my slot. And I'm going to use a fantastic little tool on Top Solid called Thickened. Thickened allows me to create a thickened profile on the fly just like that. And 53125 happens to be the size we need. Green check mark, and I'm done. Last step, I'm going to go ahead and trim by profile again because I want to trim away that material. You could use pocket here as well. Both would be acceptable. And now if we take a look at this, yep, that looks exactly like our customer's part print. So we've gone ahead and we've reproduced this in just a few minutes. And now we're ready to take that next step, which is to start the fixture design. But that's for the next video.